Welcome to the Don Lemon Show, everyone. We're still here. In a minute, I'm going to bring you my conversation with Elon Musk, the one that everyone is talking about. But first, let me tell you a bit about the show. Contrary to what you might have heard, we weren't canceled by X. Yes, after months of begging me, wooing me to offer some exclusive content on his platform, Elon Musk decided to scrap the deal. But our plan is, and always has been, to release this show everywhere on YouTube. Oh, stop! Don't come in here! Are you okay? Don't come in! On Spotify, on iHeartRadio. Just about any place you stream content. Now for my conversation with Elon. Coffee in here smells God. incredible. <laughs> is it an old family recipe or? Sims, Jim. As with all my interviews, no restrictions, no ground rules, nothing off limits or out of bounds. That is until the interview ended. So what went wrong? I don't know. But my hope is that you learned something about both Elon and me, two people who come from completely different vantage points on almost every single issue. And I challenge you, Elon, to watch the whole interview and tell the world why this isn't what you claim you want on X. Interview, you said that, you know, we'll speak to you for an hour. I don't like sound bites, so I welcome that. If they're gonna force censorship on the, on the company uh, before advertising, then uh, obviously I find that unacceptable. You find it unacceptable. Why is that not a form of, of free speech? They are free to advertise where they want. They're not beholden to, they're not yes. obligated to advertise not on, on X.com. Right. So, how is that not free speech? The, they, they, that's, whereas the other platforms will censor on behalf of, of advertisers, the X platform will not. You, we, we, there's, there's, you can absolutely choose where, next to which content do you want your advertising to appear. Absolutely, of course. Mm -hmm. And we do, we have, I think, very good ad placement controls in this regard. Yeah. So you said if they kill the company, it's them. But doesn't the buck stop with you? I mean, you're Don, I have to say, I, I, choose your question carefully. There's five minutes left. Okay, but so is this the same the question you want to ask? The same question is you said you said that they are killing the company, but you're the head of the company. The buck doesn't stop with you. I acquired X in order to preserve freedom of speech in America, the First Amendment, and I'm going to stick to that. And if that means making less money, so be it. So I have to be, listen, I, I'm just being honest, right? I'm not trying to, like, get you or anything. I was just surprised that you would blame other people for killing the company. I mean, you're the, I mean, when you say the buck stops with the president of the United States, regardless of what happens, right? So I, why would the, why would that question upset you? You seem upset by it, are you? I think you. And I'm not trying to upset you. The way, well, you are upsetting me because the way you're phrasing questions, I think, is is not cogent. Um, it's not uh, what? Not cogent. Cogent. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, so, uh, the if, if 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 given a choice where an advertiser is saying like you have to censor all this content on the, on the platform, irrespective of where their advertising appears, uh, then our answer will be like, look, you 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 can choose where you want your advertising, what you want your advertiser to appear next to. You can't insist on censorship of the entire platform. And if you insist on censorship of the entire platform, even where your advertising doesn't appear, uh, then uh, obviously we will, we will not uh, want them as an advertiser. Make me do it. Don't make me. I'll, de I'll delete that from the HTML. I will. All right. Uh, Mr. Robot Hacker here. You know, I learned a thing or two, and I know how to delete that. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, but... I can, I can, <laughs> I'm just messing. So what, what would you say to advertisers to, who have left the platform or who are considering coming back or not coming back? What would you like to say to them? Well, first of all, uh, almost all of our advertisers are coming back to the platform. So it's a very short list of advertisers who are not coming back to the platform. Um, and uh, our advertising revenue is rising rapidly. Uh, and our subscription revenue is rising rapidly, and I feel very optimistic about the future of the X Bible. Okay. Listen, I'm not, I'm, honestly, I'm not meaning to offend you. You've been repeated. It wasn't anything. We're not going to have a point taken away because this guy's an incompetent fool. You know that? That's what he is. That's what he is, right? And we're not going to have a point taken away because I said nothing that was like obscene or anything. 
Now I want him to repeat to you what he said so I don't lose the point at 5.30 on his serve. Alright? No, that's not what I said. I said he was the pits of the world. That's exactly what he is. And I'm not going to have a point taken away from him. I'm talking about... Look, and, and we only have a couple minutes left, so all right, too long to, to describe. Um, so the one or two questions I can do, and then we'll have to call it. I, okay. Again, I don't mean to upset you. Why are you? You just no. I, I, I have a whole room full of people waiting to meet with me. Okay. So we're just going over time. Okay. All right. I understand that. Um, so you, when you talk about, you said you were born that way. Is that, um, did you, you think that the way that you see the world has to do with your relationship with anyone, perhaps your, your father or someone in, in your family? I think we're all affected by the people we grew, we grew up with. Uh, my aspiration is to uh, do whatever it takes to extend, the, extend consciousness into the future. That's my goal, um, to make life multiplanetary as part of extending consciousness into the future. Has this, has, have the past few years and considering everything that's gone on, has it been difficult for you and your family life? It's been okay. So then how do you see your legacy, Elon? How, how do you see, how well, people see it in the... First of all, I say that the, um, if I died knowing that I, that I did what was right or, or did my best to do what was right, and even if in the history books they said I did, did wrong, I would still feel okay about that. I care about the reality of goodness, not the perception of it. Um, I think we should view civilization uh, as tenuous, as fragile. Um, if, you, if you do study history broadly, you'll see that there's a rise in pulled civilizations. They don't always go up. Um, so we should do everything we possibly can to preserve uh, and, and extend civilization as we know it, yeah. um, and improve it. Um, it's become more enlightened over time. And we uh, therefore want to address civilizational risks. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, we don't have, for example, demographic collapse, which is the case in a lot of countries, uh, just very low birth rate. Um, we we want to avoid, obviously avoid World War III, anything that is a civilizational risk. That's what I care about, civilizational risks. Um, how do we extend consciousness into the future such that we are able to better understand the, the nature of reality. Yeah. That's what I care about. That's my motivation. I know you have to go. If you'll just give me, a, uh, I'll do a rapid fire thing here. Is, if there, is there anything that you would change about um, anything that you've done in your life in the past or recently? And then it carries on as if nothing happened. Well, nothing did happen. I stabbed myself in the chest with this steak knife. Thank you. Do it again then. Um, I've made many mistakes over the years. If I had a time machine, I'd go back and fix them. Uh, but I don't have a time machine. Thank you. Yeah. Ta-da! Thank well, you. I appreciate it. Like, thank you so much. So that's it. And as Elon would say, you be the judge. Let me tell you something about this show. The conversation doesn't end just because the camera stops. We'll see you next time. Let her come to me. I don't know which way it'll go, but for my guess, the family, the encanto, the fate of the miracle itself, oh, it's all going to come down to you. Or maybe I'm wrong. My name is Jeff Chelios, and today no, I didn't die, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. We all believe we've run into the burning building. But until we feel that heat, we can never know. You do. You chose to die instead of giving up your calling. That test you passed, not everybody does. Welcome to the afterlife.
tennis. Last time it was no tennis.